Hey guys, episode 37 of the Crypto Portfolio Series. Uh, so down about 10,000 for the week. Uh, not uh, too much to worry about. Normally if this happens on the weekend, it tends to just sort of spring back to uh, where it was on Monday, uh, where they left off on Friday, now that the institutions are in. Saw so this uh, at the at last weekend when it sort of spiked up at the weekend and just comes crashing back down again on Monday. Uh, I think the institutions get very unhappy that it trades over the weekend. So we'll uh, see where this goes Monday. Um, not too much news. I did see an article from Bank of America um, trying to sort of justify the the large spikes upwards. Uh, they say it takes $93 million to move the market 1% which is quite a small amount when you consider some of the uh, some of these big players have been putting 500 million in each um you got micro strategy sort of doing that twice in a couple of months with uh debt sale and uh, sort of other insurance firms and people like that putting 600 million in so they would in theory have a huge in a uh, huge effect on the market just by themselves so they're saying it takes uh, about $2 billion to move the gold market 1% and $2.2 billion to move the US 20-year treasury and just $93 million uh, to move Bitcoin. So kind of explains part of it. Um, obviously, the uh, total market cap even of Bitcoin isn't sort of readily available. So... Uh, yeah, it's reducing supply even more. So it says a trillion total market cap, but that trillion is certainly not all available. So it kind of provides some justification. Uh, so quick look at the portfolio. So Bitcoin's at 41.2-ish, down about 5% for the week. Again, uh, see what happens tomorrow. And over the next week, futures will be... Uh, the futures market will be sort of coming towards the end. Uh, I don't know if it's end of this week. Uh, but yeah, that normally means a bit of volatility. Uh, Ethereum, slightly less than Bitcoin, but basically on a par with Bitcoin, about four, just over 4%. Uh, Cardano, sort of coming back a little, 13%. Obviously, this sort of had a, a much larger spike up to sort of one pound. One pound six ish, so it's still uh, off that, but hoping uh, hoping for good things. I think part of this pump came from being listed on Coinbase, so we'll see if it uh, gets any institutional demand. Uh, Litecoin, one forty two, not too bad. It's down about ten percent. Normally goes a bit further than Bitcoin either way. Uh, Stellar, basically flat for the week. Not too much happening there. Um, MEC Go, OMG Network, up 8%. Not too bad. Again, this was sort of at £5 in the mid-£5, I think. £5.40. So, it's got a long way to go till uh, the sort of previous highs. Basic attention token is uh, the mover for the week. Uh, yeah, 80p, um, high of, yeah, high of £1.2 for the week, uh, sort of come down a fair bit from there. Uh, I think, again, this was listed on Coinbase Pro. Um, no, it was already on Coinbase Pro. They've had a, uh, a grayscale um, fund added to their suite of funds. So, uh, interesting. Um, so up 40% for the week. And Power Ledger, just sort of uh, pretty flat for the week, but it's higher than where I thought it was going to be here. So pretty happy with that. Tron doing quite well, 15%. Um, has been a bit of a slow mover, but uh, yeah, maybe looking to sort of unload a little bit of this at sort of... 5p maybe uh, xrp slight mover um yeah 16 percent 
Still got a long way to go, obviously. It's uh, miles off to all previous all-time highs still. So I think that was about sort of two pound fifty something. So it's obviously not uh, not moving with the rest of the market. Uh, EOS three pounds up five percent. A little bit different. Uh, most of the others have either sort of pumped hard or dropped with Bitcoin. So not bad. To see a little five percent gain. And Dash just down four percent, pretty much with the rest of the market. Uh, slight move from dogecoin i think oh yeah down four percent it did sort of go a little bit higher but probably sell the last of this out maybe above sort of five or six p so that's the portfolio for the week as i say uh, probably expecting a volatile week this week could be down um, but i would expect maybe a little bit up but uh, see where we go Leave your thoughts in the comments below and uh, drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.